So today we will be checking out this new resort here in Panglao. They just had the ribbon cutting ceremony and we're going to take a look at it. And by the end of the video, I will be telling you if it's worth it or not to consider the new Solea Coast Resort. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Paolo Rigotti. I vlog about things that you want to do here in the Philippines or here in Bohol more specifically. By the way, if you're new here, please consider subscribe. Today we're checking out this new resort, part of the Solea Hotels and Resorts Group. They have several hotels already here in the Philippines, more specifically in Cebu. Right now they're expanding also here in Bohol with the very first hotel here in Panglao, Danao. So let's take a look around. So we just had the ribbon cutting ceremony, but the hotel is not new. They actually opened somewhere last year and then they fed us very well. The food was excellent. But you don't need to see about that. What I want to tell you in this vlog is to show you what you will get for what you pay in this place. So as you can see, they have a beautiful Swimming pool. Something that makes this pool very unique is this glass part here. It's just only a nice effect. And then of course overlooking the beach there, just right here. And literally a few meters away from the pool, this beautiful sea. Let me show you. So as you see, it's extremely spacious. They gave me two beds. I'm not sure if it's the standard room or if it's the deluxe room. And then they have this beautiful view over the beach. Their swimming pool, the beach. You have a great view of the sunset going on down there. So you see, it's direct access to the beach. The terrace is also kind of spacious. I mean, there are chairs here, you can sit here, you can buy some drinks and enjoy the view. You can clearly see, I don't know what that island, I believe is Pamilacan or no, 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 that's Balikasak. Let me show you the comfort room, the CR, the toilet. Okay. So this is also spacious and <laughs> Very interesting is this uh, shower here. There's a curtain in the shower. I can do all my business and still enjoy the view of the sea. Okay. You know what? The hot shower is really hot shower. It's not very common, you know. I've been in a lot of hotels when they said you have hot shower, but it's not that hot. It makes a difference when it's really hot. And look at this. I'm showering. Looking at the sea. Talking about the sea. Let's go back. So this is Danao Beach. It's just uh, probably, what, 10 minutes away from the main Alona Beach, the most touristic place here in Bohol. The beach is definitely not that wide, but it's more than enough. You still have a nice sand, nice fine sand. And uh, honestly, it's not as crowded like Alona Beach. It's definitely more peaceful. Hello. Are you a vlogger now? Yes, I'm doing a vlog about, about Solea. You wanna, you wanna say something on the vlog? <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> Shout out. The staff is definitely friendly here. I mean, it's a typical trait of the Boholano. And they also have like a, a bar just on the, on the pool, which is perfect. But let's take a look at the other amenities that this hotel offers. So here we have a little playroom, we have a billiard, we have that slide taking you straight down to the lobby. We have a little gym. This hotel is definitely going to be a hit 
if you have kids. The resort has a very modern look and it's super colorful. There are drawings everywhere, starting from the facade at the entrance. And every wall of this building has some unique painting in it. So it's full of colors, very fresh. Being in the now, it means you are like what? 10 minutes away from Alona Beach and 10 minutes away from the international airport. So it's perfectly located. The hotel has 110 rooms and today is actually fully booked but as you see around me it doesn't feel crowded at all this place is actually aimed for people that they just come here like for a few days exploring bohol so they just need a place to crash and sleep and during the daytime they're just out doing their activities like the island hopping or the chocolate eels or the countryside tours all those things that a typical tourist do when here in Bohol I was checking early online one of this room I just got at the moment as we talk is about 2,000 pesos which is a very good price since uh, I mean a room like this here in Bohol especially here in Panglao area in the most touristic place uh, they usually range about 10,000 pesos per night this is not a five star resort it's a four stars because I mean they don't have some amenities like the spa and stuff like this amenities that at least for somebody like me I never really use if you just need a spacious comfortable room a place accessible to the tourist spots here in Bohol this is definitely a place you should check out and if you have kids this is definitely a place you should consider okay maybe if i have to find like a little downside of this place uh, is the lack of parkings i mean for me I i'm from bohol so i came here with my car i guess they have like what four parkings here and if there is no parking here they still offer another parking area probably like five minutes walk away but you know I had to find something also negative to say and it's only these minimal things but the rest I'm telling you the place is near to perfect but I love the place it's very spacious the room are big and wide the location is excellent as a conclusion yeah guys it's definitely a place you should check out if you're coming to Bohol if you want the comfort of a big room not spending like what you would usually pay in another similar hotel of this but of course let me know what you think about it down there in the comment section give it a like I would really appreciate it and uh, I will see you guys the next time bye <laughs>